All right, weather-wise out there, I know we're talking a lot about fall and hoping for some fall temperatures here across North Texas, but hurricane season starting to get cranked up a little bit as we head toward the peak of the season this weekend. So we're going to bring in meteorologist Mario Ruiz now to talk about what's uh, going out there. Things are active in the Pacific and the Atlantic. Right, and we generally focus on the Atlantic. That's when we're talking about the peak of the season. Uh, we're specifically talking about the Atlantic, but the Pacific also has caught my eye because of Hurricane K that is very close to the Baja Peninsula. We'll talk a little bit more in detail about that, but I want to show you this. In the Atlantic, we have two hurricanes. We haven't had two hurricanes in the same time in the Atlantic since September of 2020. So it's been a couple of years since this has happened, and it looks like Hurricane Earl is now going to eventually strengthen to Category 3 status as it moves over Bermuda and eventually the Northern Atlantic. Hurricane Danielle surprisingly has kept up its strength, even though it's kind of in colder waters, and it's because of of how slow it's been moving. It'll do a loop before it continues its trek towards the east. We've also have two other areas of interest, one 60% chance of, of formation in the next five days, the other 20 right off of the African coastline. So Hurricane K is actually now a category two hurricane, but the reason why it's caught my interest is because of what it's doing over the course of the next several days, riding right along that Baja Peninsula coastline, eventually bringing in some moisture into Southern California, much needed for this area as excessive heat warnings continue and of course the drought across California. So definitely much needed moisture coming in from the Pacific. Mark, Kara. Oh.